everyone and welcome to my comic book haul part 2. Okay, with this part 2 we are talking all about all of the comics I got that either do not fit into the Avengers or the X-Men remit or are just by different um, publishers and stuff like this. So without further ado, let's get into it because there's a lot to get through. First comic I've got to mention is The Old Guard by Greg Rucker. Now this one is all about immortal mercenaries which is really, really really good fun. I've got to admit this was such a fun comic. I had such a good time reading it and for once I can also recommend the direct adaption which is on Netflix because the Netflix adaption is actually word for word for this comic. It is truly incredible. If you really like uh, the idea of mercenaries and immortality and stuff like this I would definitely recommend checking out this comic and then checking out the film because both are incredible and Charlize Theron is amazing as the main character. She is truly incredible. The second one I'm talking about is The New Fantastic Four by Dwayne McDuffie. Now this one is set post-Civil War and it actually has Storm and T'Challa in place of Reed and Sue Richards in The Fantastic Four. Now I'm not usually one for changing up The Fantastic Four as a foursome because they work so well together but seeing as this was post-Civil War which I really enjoy and it's also T'Challa and Storm who I don't really see that much of as a couple I was really really interested in this one because quite frankly like I said I don't see that much with T'Challa and Storm as a couple in and I really wanted to explore that and hopefully this is going to explore a bit more of that fallout with Civil War which is something I am so interested in because it's such a huge huge storyline that affects everything that I really want more of it essentially. The next one I've got to mention is volume 3, 4 and 5 of Dan Slott's Fantastic Four series. Now this one is the one that I've been reading recently that I find really really interesting and really really cheesy like you get all this family dynamic and just general oh we're the Fantastic Four, we're a family, we stick together and that's how we're gonna win kind of thing and I find it really cheesy but really adorable and really fun. I feel like I'm a teenager or a kid again when I read this so I Got the last three in this series. I've so far read volume three. I really really enjoyed myself. I had a great time reading that and now I can't wait to read the next two. I then got Marvel Rising Heroes of the Round Table by Nyla Magruder and this features Daisy Johnson, Carol Danvers, Carmela Khan and a few others fighting Morgan Le Fay. Now I know nothing much about Morgana Le Fay to be honest but I love Carol Danvers. I love Daisy Johnson and I really want to get into Carmela Khan. So that's why I picked this one up. I love female badasses teaming up together and it's going to fill a hole where the A-Force left me essentially and I cannot wait to read this one. The next one I got was Adam the Legend of the Blue Marvel by Kevin Grivew and this one is an older character I just wanted to check out. It was free at the time when I got it so what better time to check it out. It sounded really interesting and he is a bit of a sort of legend essentially so that's why I got it. I then got Mosaic King of the World by Jeffrey Thorne. This is an inhuman character who is a basketball player slash a celebrity who can jump uh, jump between bodies which again sounded really really interesting. I don't know much about the inhumans but I do want to get to know the inhumans a little bit more so while uh, again this one was free I picked it up. So I got Nova Rookie Season by Zeb Wells and I have already read this one and this one wasn't my favourite I've got to admit there was the moment where it said she male which is definitely not okay in any way shape or form and also the storyline was a little bit all over the place but then I did go on to also get the Nova Corpse by Jerry Duggan which is the next one in the series because I wanted to give it a second chance now that it's got a different writer to it and I'm hoping Seb Wells has learnt from this mistake of calling it, um, someone a she male I'm really hoping he has because he has gone on to write Champions with and quite a few other things I really enjoy so fingers crossed that has now been fixed and fingers crossed as well the storyline and the jumpy storyline has now been fixed as well in terms of the rest of the Nova series which has been written by Jerry Duggan. I then got Strike Force Volume 1 by Tiny Howard and basically this one features Misty Knight, Hellstrom and also the Winter Soldier 
and quite a few other people. Now, personally, I really like Misty Knight as a character and have done since I saw her in Luke Cage. I think she's a badass. I adore the Winter Soldier. He is one of my all-time favourite characters. I adore him. And Hellstrom is someone I've just found out about thanks to the TV show. I am actually filming this on the day that the TV show comes out in America and I am so sad it's not out in the UK yet because I really want to watch it and I may have to get a seven day free trial of Hulu and a VPN to watch it but, at, uh, but we'll get to that eventually but quite frankly these types of characters sounded really interesting working together so this is why I picked it up and I am actually going to be reading it as soon as I have finished filming this video and I cannot wait to read it. I then got Romulus by Brian Edward Hill which is basically a woman taking a stand against an evil corporation running the world and unfortunately this one was not my favourite. It was quite standard, it was quite tropey, but it was a good storyline, but unfortunately it did get cancelled. But it was an alright story, I've got to admit. I think IX Generation, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that, by Matt Hawkins, and it's a utopia sort of world run by the gods, but it's built on genocide, which sounded really, really interesting. I have now learned that it is a spin-off of another series, which is now on my wish list, but I got this one while it was on offer because it sounded really interesting, and now I have to kind of wait to get the rest of them. But I think it's also a retelling in a way, so I'm very interested in this series either way because A, comic, B, utopia, C, gods and D, retelling. I'm here for all of those types of things. I then got Loki's Journey into Mystery 1, 2 and 3 by Kieran Gillen, which is a tie into Fear itself, which is this big, like, storyline event in the in the Marvel Universe, which sounded really, really interesting. I did also get Fear itself, but I'll talk more about that in my Avengers haul if I remember rightly it should be in that one but essentially this is a series focusing entirely on Loki and with the Loki TV series coming eventually I wanted more Loki in my life so while this one was on offer I also got it. I then got Original Sin Thor and Loki the Tenth Realm and this one is by Jason Aaron and it's the next in the Original Sin storyline. I've got basically all of it now I think I'm just missing the War Thors and that's it. I've then got everything apart from also Jane Foster Volume 2, but I've got everything else and so I also got this one. So when the time comes, which is basically when Thor Love and Thunder comes out, I can just read this entire series in one great big go. I then got The Champions, which is something I just mentioned with the Nova thing by Zeb Wells, but this is also by Mark Wade. So essentially I got both of the two series about this and it's essentially the teenagers of the Marvel Universe, including Kamala Khan, Ironheart, Miles, Morales, Viv Vision and a whole lot of others all teaming up together and working as a team together and it is absolutely glorious. I read the first volume, Beat the Devil, and thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself reading this. I had the best time. Literally, it was one of the greatest things I've ever read. It made me so happy to see all of these teenagers together working together. I really liked exploring their mental health, being teenage superheroes. I love seeing like the aftermath of some stuff that's happened between them and the X-Men and people like this. I loved seeing all of this. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And funnily enough, literally like the day after I read Champions, the rest of the Champions went on sale. So I quickly nabbed all of them. And I have since also found out that the Nova comic I did mention that I've also bought also ties into this series. So I'm very excited to work my way through the rest of Nova. I do admittedly have to buy the rest of the series, but that's something for another day. Essentially, I can't wait to work myself uh, work my way through the rest of the Nova series and then go into the Champions because, quite frankly, after one volume, I love them. I then got Deadpool and Cable Ultimate Collection. Now, this one is essentially Deadpool and Cable. I needed nothing more. I loved seeing Deadpool and Cable together in the Deadpool 2 film and I really wanted to explore more of that because I have read one other comic with the two of them and they had such an interesting relationship with each other that I really wanted to explore more of it so that's why I decided to pick this one up again while it was on offer. I then also picked up Fearless and this one is by Shauna Maguire and essentially it's a female team up. 
again, A Force has left a massive hole in my heart, so I'm picking up as many female team ups as I can get my hands on. This one was on sale, and it's also by written by Sean and Maguire, which just makes me really happy because I love Sean's work. So I picked up this one as well. I then picked up America: The Life and Times of America Chavez by Gabby Riviera, and this is a solo comic for the character. I don't know much about her. I won't lie; I've only seen her in one or two Young Avengers comics, but she is heavily rumoured to be in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, and even if she isn't, she is a really interesting, well-loved character, and I wanted to get in on that, so I decided to pick this one up as well. I then got Spider Geddon by Christos N. Gage. Now, this one is essentially Spider-Man team-up. So it's all the Spider-Men of all the different Spider-Verses all teaming up together, having to sort of break through all of the multiverse or the multiverse is breaking apart and they're all having to come together and it just sounded really really interesting also if you are interested in spider-geddon i will leave a link down below to my spider-geddon reading guide which i have on the comic book sanctum which is my comic book website so if you want to check out spider-geddon i will leave a link down below to that i then have spider gwen spider-geddon which is really difficult to say by sean and mcguire which is basically a tie into spider-geddon and also one that was on sale is also by Sean McGuire. I decided to pick it up. I then got the first two volumes of Unstoppable Wasp, which is Unstoppable and Girl Power by Jeremy Whitley. Now, this one is about Nadia, Hank Pym's daughter, the asexual wasp. She's an asexual character. I've never seen an asexual marvel character before or at least if i have i haven't sort of noticed or it hasn't been mentioned and i just have sort of skipped over that but it just sounded so interesting and so up my alley i love asexual characters i do not see enough of them so it was so exciting to see that there is one so i've immediately bought it while there was a bit of a two for one offer on because a, I love the Ant-Man universe, and B, asexual superhero. How often does that happen? It never happened. I then got Ghost Rider Hellbent and Heaven Bound by Jason Aaron, and this is about Johnny Blaze going off in revenge for the person who made him the Ghost Rider, which sounded really, really interesting, because I love Ghost Rider. I don't talk about him enough on this channel, because quite frankly, I haven't actually watched the original Nicolas Cage movies with Ghost Rider in for a solid 10 years. At the very least, it's been about 10 years since I last saw him, but I have seen the other version with Robbie Reyes in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the last couple of years, and it sort of reunited my love for the Ghost Rider. So when this one went on sale, I immediately had to get it because I just wanted more Ghost Rider in my life. He's one of my absolute favorites, and with the Halloween season coming up on us, I really wanted to read more Ghost Rider, so I picked it up. And that's absolutely everything in terms of my other comics that I bought. My next one will be The Avengers, which will come out in November, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below with what comics you've bought recently, I'll have to know. I'll also leave a link down below to all my social media if you want to check it out, including to the uh, comic book sanctum, like I mentioned in this video, which is my blog dedicated to Marvel Comics and helping people get into the Marvel Universe, so if you are interested in any of the comics I mentioned or just getting into Marvel comics in general, please do check that out. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here, and over here will be the link to our previous video. But until next time, everyone, bye!